That's a black powder 4570, you said? Yes, sir. And uh, what was the manufacturer on that? Say a Petter Soli. Petter Soli. Uh, the business uh, rifle, Sharps, it was 1874 reproduction. Okay, is that the rifle that uh, Quigley shot and down under? <laughs> Pretty close to it. Is it? Pretty yeah. Close to it. Awesome. How long you been shooting it? Uh, this one a little over a year. Okay. Now, um, have you shot it? You're shooting that out to 200 yards right now. That's correct. That's How correct. are you doing? Uh, she's doing uh, decently. Uh, yeah. It looks like uh, about a four or five inch group. Five okay. Inch moment, so. And what's the longest you shot it out? Unfortunately, only 200 yards. Only 200 yards. I have access to it at the moment. Okay, so. okay, cool. There's a uh, range over in Graham that goes out to 300 yards, and then they have an 800-yard range as well. That'd be a lot of fun. But you have to qualify to shoot on the 800-yard range. Oh, really? I mean, I've shot that distance before uh, with other centerfire rifles. But, okay. Uh, but not this particular girl, so. All right. I'm, uh, my name is Pastor Larry, and uh, I got a YouTube channel called Larry's Life Adventures, and that's where I'm going to post your video. Oh, so good. if you want to look it up. I'm uh, Kent Grayson Jr., so. You're sir? Kent Grayson Jr. Grayson Jr. Kent Grayson Jr. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you, and I, I always like those old style rifles. That's a that's a black powder. You reload those uh, shells. Can we look at one of those buggers? Sure. Look at that. Yeah, say a 500 grain. 500 grain. Using a lead uh, cast. Wow. Yeah, it's about 60 grains of uh, one and a half. Now, if you had to buy those commercially, what do they cost a piece? Ooh. Um, well, one thing you can't even get the black powder, uh, powder rounds commercially. But, oh, okay. Um, it, it, smokeless rounds, uh, they're about almost two to three dollars a piece. Wow, can you shoot smokeless through that or you prefer mm -hmm. not to? Yep, you can. Okay. Now, when you do a smokeless, you have to reduce the loads uh, due to the falling block mechanism. Okay. You can't withstand the same pressures as the uh, modern rifles can. Right. So you have to make them so they're close to the. Now with Very black powder, cool. you can uh, fill the cartridge basically all the way up. Wow. Compress it a little bit, uh, but with the smokeless, they, uh, it burns um, you know, at a different rate. So are you shooting this because that's just a hobby of yours? You actually plan on using it to go hunting with or anything like that? Just mainly hobby. Hobby, I do, uh, yeah. Just target shooting. Good, good. So. Do you do enter any competition or anything like that? I used to when I was uh, down south. I would go to the uh, Wyoming Antelope Club. Okay. Uh, down in Clearwater. Cool. And, uh, I would do, you know, 22 competitions, that sort of thing. Hey, Barry, you want to you want to hold that rifle for me? Let me get a frontal shot of that thing. That's a that's a pretty big rifle. How tall are you? Uh, I'm about six foot two. Okay, so. same height, but I got a big old rifle there. Golly! Yeah, she's got a, a inch and they use those for hunting buffalo, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. Up to a thousand yards. Up to a thousand yards. That's a sweet rifle. All right, Kent. I appreciate your time. All right. I hope thank to you, see you out there again. And uh, thanks for letting me take a video. Yes, sir. All right. Two hundred yards.